Tonight on the Maritime Beer Report, of course, i got a bunch of news on new beers, brewery expansions. Upstreet Craft Brewing has an interesting idea, a new beer garden on the Halifax waterfront, and a brand new brewery on the horizon for southern New Brunswick. Hello and welcome to the April 17th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. I love beer and I love food trucks. Upstreet Craft Brewing decided to follow other breweries and marry the two. They're looking for food trucks serving in interesting locally inspired food to park at Upstreet Craft Brewing. Whether you or someone you know is currently looking for space or to relocate to a new high traffic location, please contact them. Big Axe Brewery has their popular Maple Wheat Amber Ale available now. Brewed with 100% pure maple sap provided by the Stone Family Maple Products from historic Pockwick <laughs> Sugary. Big Axe also turned one this week. They would like to invite everybody to celebrate with them in June with the opening of their new tap room. Hammond River Brewing repeated as the Gold People's Choice Award for St. John Beer Fest. Uh, Steve, um, Shane showed us uh, some pictures and he's got a lot of hardware for a small brewery. Pickaroons reminds people to send in their high resolution cat pictures to their Melonhead contest. Deadline is one week away on April 24th. Dooryard Summer Wheat Ale was also due to be released on Earth Day, April 22nd. Look for it in the usual spots. And Pickaroon decided to jump on the ISA train and have just finished brewing the Brick ISA. That's Imperial Scotch Ale. It's a low hopped malt forward brew with fruity esters and while being blanketed in subtle smokiness and alcoholic warmth. It's on tap now at the Brutique in downtown Fredericton while supplies last. Railcar Brewing Company is having a craft beer and chocolate pairing on Saturday May 9th at 6 p.m. in their tap room. Look for those details on their Facebook page. Trailway, Trailway Brewing Company seems to have a never-ending supply of new beer releases. They have a Black Hops One, a black IPA that was kegged this week. The East Coast Beer, Newts, uh, yeah, beer Nerds have got con uh, credit for naming that. Big Spruce, North Brewing, Uncle Leo's, Rod Iron Brewing jointly brewed a British IPA this week. The batch will be delivered to the Race of Kegs at the Nova Scotia Craft Beer Week in Halifax by sailboat. It was brewed some more with an organic pale Anglais micro malted barley from Maltarie Frontenac and heavily hopped with East Kent Golding Hops. Sounds delicious, guys. More details on the Boxing Rock and the Ladies Beer League International Women's Day Collaboration Brew. Cinnamon Spin is a robust porter with a pile of cinnamon and molasses. Boxing Rock says it's a big, dark, malty, roasty with notes of coffee, chocolate, and the teeniest bit of fruitiness in the background with everything a robust porter should be, including a 6.5% ABV. Uh, we added two big forward features to this palette, cinnamon and molasses. The combination is quite complimentary of the porter, and we think it's a real winner. Because this beer was brewed in observance of the International Women's Day, Boxing Rock is donating a portion of the profits from this beer to the Shelburne County Women's Fishnet Bursary Program that allows women to go to a university or to a trade school that can't afford it, and the Halifax Sexual Health Center. It's going to be launched at Stillwell Bar on Saturday tomorrow, the 18th at 6.30, with bottles and growlers available in the usual spots after. North Brewing Company expanded again with its biggest tank yet at 2,400 liters. This is really going to help their beer supply this summer. Propeller Brewing Company has a couple of beers out. They have a new one-hit wonder called All Tapped Out with six hop varieties, 72 IBUs, and 6.9% ABV. That's available in growlers at the prop shops. They also have a new seasonal out, a rye IPA, hit the shelves at both prop shop locations this week and 650 ml bottles and that comes in at 6.8 percent ABV. Rogue's Roost, who we don't hear a lot from, released a new double IPA this week. I think that's courtesy of Karen. 
Not all the details yet, but I'm sure it's going to be mighty tasty if you're on Spring Garden Road. Rudders Brewery released that their lager will be back again at Rudders this summer. Lighthouse Lager 2.0 is in the fermenter and should be ready for June. Schoolhouse Brewery has a cool project plan. They say, we have seen our beer production from grain to glass, and now we're going to see our beer go from field to glass. The Southfield project says one field, one beer. They're using their two acre field to produce barley and hops for an authentic blue nose beer. Very interesting. Tamagoosh Brewery also expanded this week. They had a whole bunch of tanks being, going into their brewery, and that's going to help their beer production this summer. It's a new brewery alert for New Brunswick. Scared Man Brewing is now getting to financing together, and they said they're going to give me some more details towards the summer what's going on. They have a fundraiser going on on Friday, May 15th at 7 o'clock at the Pub Down Under in St. John, New Brunswick. Check all that out on their Facebook page, and I'll get as much details as I can and pass them on to you. News from the waterfront, Stillwell Beer Garden will be opening around the end of May and provide beer and food with a Nova Scotia angle. Look for the details to come forward over the next month. There are all kinds of events popping up during Nova Scotia Craft Beer Week. Look for a complete wrap up in two weeks with all the events I can find so you can kind of figure it out. But be warned, a lot are sold out already. That's it for now. Until next time, enjoy responsibly.